Okay, so I have a great project to introduce you to, and this is a, to me it's a great project, very close to my heart, which is cutting all of my stove wood with an ax this year. Now, what I mean is the wood that I burn in the house, basically, which is, you know, 16 inch wood that'll fit my stove. Now, that's not as impressive as it sounds maybe because I don't really burn that much wood. I live in a really small space, and even though it's super drafty, it just heats pretty easily. And I don't like sitting in a hot space like all day long and I don't like getting too comfortable and I just have a pretty high metabolic rate because I eat enough food, especially carbohydrate. And so I stay warm pretty well. I just don't want to be overly comfortable all the time because frankly I find it uncomfortable. So what I'm going for is one cord of wood. A cord of wood is up to this wire right here, which you probably can't see, but it's four foot tall eight foot long by four, four feet wide is one cord. So I'm cutting 16 inch stove wood, so that means I'll have three stacks like this full. This one's like three quarters of the way done, this stack here. And that's just me running out in the evening and cutting down a couple of small trees with usually this this little forest ax actually. So that may sound like a daunting project, but it's really not as bad as it sounds. Um, I'm not a novice, you know, I have a fair amount of experience with an ax and so it's not like I'm just starting cold and don't know what I'm doing at all, although I, I do need practice and I'm learning a lot already. And that's because I'm doing it consecutively, you know, and I have motivation. As much as I like chopping wood, like if you were to ask me, Stephen, what do you want to do that sounds fun right now? I would be like, uh, maybe just grab my ax and go cut down some trees and chop them up into pieces. That's just super fun to me. Um, but as much as I like that, I don't like it. I like being good at it. I don't like just going out and hitting things, you know, randomly with an ax. Uh, I want it to work, you know, and I want it to work as well as possible. And I want to cut as much wood as I can with the amount of energy that I expend. You know, I'm really having to up my game, basically. And I've never done anything like this where it just really I had to rely on it this much. And I also have just lots of ax heads that have been sitting around forever that I kind of just never get around to, you know, making handles for and putting handles on and sharpening and regrinding and all that stuff. So that'll kind of get me into that. And really, you know, I just want to get better and a lot better. And you can't do that by just running out every once in a while, uh, like spread out through the year and just doing a little bit of chopping. This way, like I'm out there, I have a log, you know, I have motivation to improve my aim and just get more efficient at getting that wood cut up with the fewest blows possible. Also, it gives me credibility. Like I said, I have quite a bit of experience. I have a lot of strong opinions. My friend last night just called me an axe Nazi. <laughs> 
because um, you know if you sh if he shows me an axe, I'm just like you know tearing it apart and talking about what I don't like and what I do like and all that stuff. But you know, to me, it's like if you compared me to the average American person, yeah, I mean I'm pretty experienced. But if you compared me to like just the average 19th century um, you know guy who lives in the country somewhere or works outside. I'm probably a total dork. You know, those people are cutting like one to two cords a day. So yeah, this is really gonna force me to get my act together and uh, give me credibility both, in, and I don't mean just credibility for like talking to you and you believing what I'm saying. I don't think you should believe what I say. I think you should always be critical of what everyone says. I know it's very uncult-like, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. And, um, so yeah, and it gives me more credibility, and I don't just mean credibility in your eyes, I mean credibility in my eyes too, and just feeling more comfortable owning the opinions that I have and having more refined and more developed opinions about certain things uh, relating to access. Yeah, I think that's, that's mostly what I wanted to say, and I was going to do like a challenge and say, um, you know, I'm going to do this, like I'm challenging the rest of you to think about, you know, picking an amount of wood, not necessarily a cord, it could be more, or it could probably less, and just saying, well, I'm going to do that this year. Vulture, look alive. And uh, where was, what was I saying? Yeah, I was going to do this cordwood challenge. I think it's a really great idea, but I decided not to do it this year because I'm getting kind of a late start here, and there's just so much to learn. These things are dangerous. You take a tool that can cut into a piece of hardwood three or four inches and stick that in your leg, that's not going to be any fun, okay? And they're just dangerous, period, no matter what you do. But in the hands of someone that's not experienced, they're very dangerous. For me to challenge um, all you guys out there, um, the average person, the average of which can't even use an ax at all, probably, uh, to, to jump into a project like that, is kind of, it feels, just feels kind of irresponsible, honestly. So what I decided to do is go ahead and you know do my project this year and I just want to say that if you might be interested in the idea of taking on that challenge then right now you should start thinking in that direction. You don't just get an axe, you can't just buy an axe and then go start using it. I mean you need to know how to sharpen it, period. There's other things too. So there's like, I mean ideally you should be able to replace a handle if not actually make one, but at least you know replace it. A lot of axes come from the factory, especially now, pretty unusable, basically. Either the steel is, prof like the head is profiled wrong and ground not ground enough, usually, or the handles are ridiculously thick on new axes, especially the Scandinavian, um, fancy Scandinavian axes. So th those need work. And, well, yeah, there's just a lot to learn. and you know, just getting warmed up and starting to get some experience is really important before taking on this thing where you have like a deadline and uh, you're going to try to meet this deadline because it's just unsafe, period. And it is always unsafe. I can't repeat that enough. Like, it, it doesn't become safe at any point. It just becomes safer because you know what you're doing, your aim is better, you know how far the head is from, you know, your hands. And uh, yeah, it just gets better, but never safe, never safe. So uh, my challenge next year will be to some of you who, who want to take it on to cut a given amount of wood, maybe it's a quarter cord to, to two cords, whatever it is, uh, with an ax and not hurt yourself. Um, that's my goal, that's my personal goal. My personal goal is to cut one cord of wood without cutting myself and also get more of my tools together so that's super exciting because now i have an excuse right you guys give me some accountability to get my crap together here so i'll be making some handles this year i hope and mounting those on some of the many axes i have i just picked up a really cool craftsman uh, felling axe which i'm going to modify a little bit and put a handle on and yeah super exciting stuff and i don't know what else to say about that for now um hopefully this video didn't run on too long i always have a lot to say i mean i could just keep talking and talking and talking about this in the meantime if you're interested in maybe doing that challenge or if you're just interested in axes in general you need information okay i don't feel personally up to the task of teaching you how to use an axe i mean maybe if we were here like together and i was showing you 
personally just how to get started, you know, maybe. But that's a huge responsibility. I mean, I consider it a really big responsibility. So I'm not going to be going, you know, doing a series of this is how to use an axe, basically, or how to use an axe safely. I'll be talking about the things that I learned and the things I already know and, you know, stuff like that. But I'm just going to be doing it on kind of on a casual basis. Um, so you need information. And let me just say that a lot of the information that's out there on the internet right now is just mediocre to sometimes bad or not very good. Um, there are people making videos about how to use an axe, like trying to teach you how to use an axe or show you how to use an axe that should not be doing that. Um, they just don't know what they're doing well enough and it's dangerous. So if I think about all the videos I've seen about axe use, um, there's very few that stand out and the, the most expert person that I know and I know him personally is Morris Kahansky. And I've had the you know fortune to be able to hang out with him a little bit over the years at these you know primitive skills things, the Rabbit Stick Rendezvous, and talk to him and sit down on his classes and stuff like that. And the guy's just awesome. He knows his stuff. His book, Northern Bushcraft, is excellent. Um, it's very good with safety in using an axe and felling trees and stuff like that. So I highly recommend that book. It's also really good for anyone who lives in the northern boreal forest where there's you know birch and spruce and all that stuff. So um, the other book is this one, Dudley Cook's The Axe Book. I've read this over the last couple of months, on and off, maybe three months, and I've probably read most of it through at least twice. And that's because it's worth reading that much. I highly recommend this book to anyone who is interested in bushcraft, axes, uh, just wants to be you know, good at, at using an ax. Yeah, I can recommend both those books, but just be wary. I don't think there's any problem to go you know, on internet forums like axe forums and watching YouTube videos and stuff. Just keep that critical mindset. A lot of different opinions too, like you don't need to accept any opinion just because someone sounds like they know what they're talking about or even because they really are an expert. You know, everybody's different. Um, no one has it all figured out. Everybody's wrong. It's just a matter of figuring out what they're wrong about. That's it. I'm gonna go cut some wood because it's rather chilly out here and this is like the third take of this video because things kept going wrong. So I'm gonna go cut some wood and get warmed up and make my stack a little bit taller.